Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be making some egg and bacon muffins. So I used organic free range eggs. You can really use any eggs of your choice. And I used seven of those. I also used a cup of um, real bacon pieces. And I used a quarter cup of olive oil. You can also use vegetable oil. I then used also the entire box of the sweet corn muffin and cornbread mix. And you can use any uh, cornbread mix of your choice, but I just prefer sweet. I then add two third cups of water of uh, milk to my mixture. And then I also add the quarter cup of olive oil. Again, you can use vegetable oil as well. Um, whatever oil that uh, works for you, but preferably something healthy. So you give it a good mix. With this, you don't necessarily need to use a mixture. Just, you know, mixing with your hands is just fine. And then after that, add your egg into the mixture and mix again. Just give it a good mix. You don't need a mixer for this process. So once everything is mixed, add half a cup of bacon. and give it a good mix. Again, you do not need to use a mixer for this step. Now I like to um, scrape my um, spoon because I don't like to leave any of my dough unused. Now you want to spray your um, muffin pan with um, olive oil spray and you want to boil those um, six eggs. The one egg, you put it in your dough. That's how I came up with the number seven. So you boil your eggs, you cool them. And once they're cool, you start to fill your tray halfway first. So you fill it halfway into the tray first. So the reason you are filling it halfway is so that you can be able to place your egg in the center of the muffin spot. So place all your six eggs, and I did six eggs because I have um, my Jumbo pan is, has got six uh, openings. If you have more, then you could um, boil more eggs to accommodate the amount of muffins that you're gonna make. Now you just top up. You don't want to cover the entire um, egg completely because it can run over and um, sometimes I tend to do this. And I actually think I did this, uh, but just cover your egg with the remainder of the muffin. And don't worry, it will all cover itself up once it's completely cooked. So once you have done that, 
you want to go ahead and place it in the oven for at least 375 degrees for about 15 minutes. So once the muffins are done, I tend to leave them to cool down, maybe for another 20 minutes. If you want them to cool down faster, you can put them in the fridge once they've um, cooled down for about five minutes to speed up the process, it's up to you. Um, you see what I'm saying, when you put too much, then it will spill over like that, but that's okay. Once they have cooled down, they won't fall apart once you start taking them out of the muffin tray. So these muffins, um, because I cook them in the jumbo trays, they're pretty big. So I cut them in half usually, and usually that's a lot, it's more than enough for people, for one person, because they're so big. Also, I cut them in half because it helps with the visual effect, you know. It helps someone realize, oh, there's an egg in there. And um, they're quite popular, um, these muffins. but. I think it also helps with presentation, cutting them so. I generally tend to cut them down the middle and if someone wants more than half, they are free to take more. So that's it guys, thank you so much for joining me today. Uh, please don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell button. Till next time, bye.